Hey there, Mike. It is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. So I figured that this might be the easiest rather than typing out a whole textbook of sort of preferred to carbon to premium is actually just to show you here on video. So in front of me here is a preferred package. The good news is between this and the carbon is pretty easy, but I'm going to go over the preferred package first. The big thing I always discuss on any CX-30 is you're going to notice that this emblem is flat up front and then there's a camera on top of the windshield. It is because all safety features are standard on this vehicle. That's going to be your adaptive cruise control, all of your collision avoidance, your pedestrian and cyclist detection, the lane keeping assist system, LED headlights are full LED. They'll even use high and low beams automatically. Uh, your backup camera with the cross detection to kind of alert the driver it's not safe to back up. And probably my favorite, which are the blind spot monitoring systems. So these are little indicators that will light up in each mirror. You might see that little triangle hologram right there. So that will light up orange to let you know if someone's in your blind spot. Benefit of that is if you happen to be part of the 2% of Pittsburgh that actually knows where their turn signal's located, then what happens is it will beep at you to grab your attention that you cannot make a lane change. Now, all vehicles will have 18-inch silver alloy wheels. I'll get into that here in a second, some of the differences among the trims. Advanced key access just means when you walk up to the car and grab the handle, it will sense that you have the key. Unlock, you can even tap that little divot right there in the corner to lock the car. Now, interior-wise of all preferreds are going to be leatherette. Now, Mazda and Lexus have a partnership, so this leatherette is the same material that Lexus uses in their F-Sport line called New Lux. So truly, it looks, feels, and smells like real leather. All going to be eight-way power with memory function, heated seats, you'll have your dual-zone climate system. Now, Mazda, even though they're a Japanese brand, they're really trying to be a German. So their whole cabin is kind of very BMW, Audi style. Everything is clean, horizontal. You'll have your nine, or excuse me, your 10 inch screen up on top of the dash. It is not touch. Everything is controlled on that joystick like system behind the uh, gear shifter to do all the features and functions. Now things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. Uh, you'll even have connected services in all of these vehicles. Uh, and that will be like your remote start and your locking and unlocking that's all done from your smartphone. Now for all of the CX-30 trims, preferred carbon premium, they are the same size, they have the same exact engine, it's just a matter of a switch in features. So the preferred packages, those are typically just barely shy of 30,000. So let's just call them 30,000 even. If we go to a carbon, which is right here, the best way to describe a carbon is it is a preferred package with a sport appearance kit because carbons are a what you see is what you get. And what I mean by that is they come in one paint color and one interior color. So it's kind of like if you don't like the look of the vehicle, then you cannot get a carbon because this is the only way that they come. Now you will see the wheels are exactly the same as the ones on the preferred package, but they're blacked out. So they're all gloss black on the carbon and you'll notice that the mirror caps are gloss black as well to kind of pick up that sporty theme. The paint color is called polymetal. It's basically like a blue gray. It's kind of very unique because in the sunlight, it has like this very light, almost kind of like a watery blue to it. But in the dusk and kind of like low light, it actually will almost look gunmetal gray. So it is designed to change colors between blue and gray. Otherwise, everything is the same except sunroof. So the carbons are going to be a preferred package that I had just showed you in that beige one but they're gonna come with the sunroof, painted in poly metal, black accents, and then the interior, a little bit of a switch up as well. You'll notice that this leather, while it looks the same in the preferred, it's not. This is actually a real leather seat. It is not the leatherette in the preferred. Plus it's red. And you'll see as a result, you have red accented stitching across the dash, up the center console, just to make it pop. So again, to recap, the difference in cost between a preferred trim CX-30 and a carbon trim CX-30 is $1,000. So the $1,000 to jump up into carbon is giving you the special paint and the special red interior, the black accents, real leather and not leatherette, and a sunroof. So that is the $1,000 difference. Now, when you start going into premium, 
you're gonna start flirting at a 33 range. So then there becomes a $2,000 difference between the carbons around 31,000 to the premium right here at 33,000. So it's kind of like, okay, well, what, am I, what are the features that I'm picking up for that $2,000 difference? One is going to be the headlights will have a signature design element. And simply puts, all of these vehicles have daytime running lights. It's just gonna be like a low grade form of the headlight, but on the premium, they're designed. So it's kind of like this oval that goes around the headlight and kind of has like these little zags on the side. Very much like BMW has like the signature halos around their headlight in the daytime. Our premiums do the same thing. Now for the headlights themselves, even though they are the same adaptive, or excuse me, well, adaptive they are, but even though they're the same LED headlight as the preferred, the carbon, the premiums adapt, meaning that as you turn the steering wheel left, your headlights aim left, and as you turn the steering wheel right, they'll aim right as well. Visually on the outside, you'll see that you drop out of that carbon because now you're back to the silver wheels and you're back to the painted mirror caps. Going into the interior, this particular one happens to be the white interior, but obviously they make a black interior. And you'll see that you pick up the two-toned effect. So every premium trim is gonna have what they call a black espresso interior. You're going to see that the top of the dash, up the center console and across the doors are all done in a brown. Also, you're going to see that these will have the heads up display. So you'll see this little cutout right up here on top of the dashboard. That will project road information up on the windshield. Navigation is standard in the premium. However, most people are just going to use the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to run navigation through their phone anyway. But if you wanted to use navigation that's in the car without your phone, then you can do it on the premium. Though bear in mind that if navigation is an important feature, it could be added into any of these CX-30s literally for $40. But as a result, with that heads-up display, stop signs and traffic signs will project up there. These vehicles will also come with Bose audio system. So you'll upgrade from Pioneer, which is going to be in the preferred, as well as the Carbon. You'll upgrade to what they call their 3D Bose audio. And you'll also have the lift gate is going to be power here. And I'm just going to go ahead and close this. So just to do a quick recap. Preferred trim levels are going to be very well equipped. Your heated leatherette seats, dual zone climate, all of your remote start, all of your technology like safety, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, remote start, and so forth. Then those are around the basically the 30,000 range. If you step up $1,000 to carbon, it's this paint color only, the red full leather interior, you pick up a sunroof and the black accents. If you want to spend around 33, which is $2,000 more than a carbon and $3,000 more than a preferred, then you're in premium, which then picks up the two-toned interior, the head-up display, the Bose 3D audio system, the power lift gate, and those adaptive headlights. So I hope this video is a lot more informative than just trying to look at all kinds of differences online or expect some person just to send you a you know, one or two differences when there's quite a bit. But I figured it would be a little bit more helpful and respectful of your time researching, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity, Mike. Thanks again.